neutrality, reserve troops, and imperialism. I thought about Eric Maria's Green Marquet's War to End All Wars novel, All Quiet on the Western Front, as I did my short, intense run this morning. I read the World War II novel, All Quiet on the Western Front, when I was 13 years old, and Henri Marquet did a superlative job of bringing the degradation, stupidity, and mass insanity of World War I to life for barely teenaged me. Soon after reading the novel, I learned that my maternal grandfather, Philip, had been in the U.S. Army as an infantryman during the war, but that the Army had decided that my immigrant German Swiss paternal grandfather Carl likely had mixed allegiances, which caused him to reject his application to volunteer. There were many portions of Henri Marquet's historical novel that caught my attention, but high among them was how, as the war neared its conclusion, Germany had called up reserve troops. Reserve troops that included boys as young as I was when I read the novel, and men older than my just shy of 61 years. Boys and old men called up to do battle in a wasteful, meaningless, vainglorious attempt to spread imperialism. Good thing nothing like that would happen a hundred years later. Before Russia invaded Ukraine for decidedly imperialistic reasons, Ukraine alerted their reserve guard and told them to prepare to be deployed as needed. The upper age for Ukrainians reserve troop is my age. Ukraine has 60-year-old men to face an imperialistic juggernaut menace, hell-bent on eliminating freedom and bringing back the old CCCP. I thought of this as I ran my old man pace for the 0.68-kilometer run around my hilly block this morning. I thought of old men with full rucksacks and rifles set out to defend their homeland. Thank God the age of barbarism is over and that Russia is now a peace-loving democracy, da? Mir. Pravda. Dermo.